there, this is Celestial News Television. My name is Charles James. Here are the highlights. Reverend Pastor Emmanuel Mobino Oshofa, the pastor and spiritual head of Celestial Church Worldwide, has called on all the shepherds worldwide to embrace love and be civil. The head of diocese of the Celestial Church of Christ in France, Venerable Superior Evangelist Prophet Andrew Abiodun Fadenipo, which rates on how the diocese has been managing the church in compliance with the COVID-19 rules in France diocese. The head of diocese of the Celestial Church of Christ in Dublin, Ireland, Superior Evangelist Michael Tunde Afolalu says Island Diocese of the Church have restored Christian values to homes and win souls for the Kingdom of God. The shepherd in charge of Covenant of God Parish, Philadelphia, Superior Evangelist Kendi Akano, appreciates the miracle manifested in the church 17 years counting. Head of Diocese in the United Kingdom, UK, Assistant Most Superior Evangelist Amos Fatusi said United Kingdom Diocese in London is growing spiritually and the church membership drive is increasing. The head of diocese of the Celestial Church of Christ in Italy, Assistant Variable Superior Evangelist Michael Tunde Odubanja, says the diocese is under lockdown, for Jesus Christ did not lock them down. Here are the main news. Reverend Pastor Emmanuel Mobi No Shofa, the pastor and spiritual head of Celestial Church Worldwide, has called on all the shepherds worldwide to embrace love and be civil. He advised them while speaking to a group of shepherds who recently visited in Mekko. He said Celestial Church is a spiritual church and they should continue to seek spiritual blessing from God as a guide to run their parish. Reverend Pastor Mobi No Shofa, the chairman of the Board of Trustees of the church, is looking forward to a great deliberation of the board meeting this month to put a church to a greater pedestal. The head of diocese of the Celestial Church of Christ in France, Venerable Superior Evangelist Prophet Andrew Abiodu Fadenipo, retreats on how the diocese has been managing the church in compliance with the COVID-19 rules in France diocese. The head of diocese who spoke in English and French told our correspondent that the diocese is managing this COVID-19 pandemic in compliance with the laid-down rules. Our France correspondent reports. We thank God and glorify and love Jesus Christ for what he has done for every one of us. What Christ has done to every celestial members worldwide. What he has done for you, for me, and for all the members of our family. It is true that the situation in which we find ourselves is critical. This generation of pandemic, COVID-19, that started killing many of people all over the world, we cannot be discouraged and we should not never be discouraged because we believe that our duties is to win soul for our Lord Jesus Christ who has sent us on mission. It is true that we in France here, we love some people in all the tendency because there are three tendency in France. But despite that we lost some people, that should not discourage. It doesn't discourage us to continue and fighting for God. To start and we continue to win heart and so for our Lord Jesus Christ, as I've said that it is our duty. That is why every celestial church of Christ in France continue to be mobilized and worshiping God. The president of the parochial committee, 
be all the shepherds and all the shark ladies, imams of all parishes, they are strong in law in our Lord Jesus Christ, and they believe that Jesus Christ is the one that protects us. By this one, we seize the opportunity to thank God for the glory and his protection over upon our Father, the pastor worldwide, in the person of our Father, Reverend, uh, Reverend Mubina Fido Shofa, who is the pastor for God, pastor of Celestial Church of Christ worldwide. And we continue to pray that our Lord Jesus Christ to give him long life. Nous remercions le Seigneur pour tout ce qu'il a fait pour nous, son amour envers nous tous et surtout sa protection sur nous tout ensemble. Notamment pendant ce moment très difficile, ce moment de pandémie de Covid-19 qui ravage le monde entier. Dieu nous a donné la force et le courage de continuer à le servir parce que nous avons accepté Jésus et nous savons que notre devoir c'est de gagner les âmes pour le Seigneur Jésus-Christ dans l'église de Christ et Céleste. Il est vrai que nous avons perdu quelques, quelques personnes dans notre diocèse dans toutes les tendances, puisqu'il y a trois tendances en France. Nous avons perdu quelques personnes. Mais malgré que nous avons perdu des gens, cela ne nous a pas découragé les fidèles de France de continuer à adorer Dieu. Les chariots palatiaux, les mamans palatiales, les présidents du comité et toutes les responsables continuer à se mobiliser pour servir Dieu. Et c'est pour ces raisons, nous prions Dieu qui compte à nous fortifier et nous remercions le Seigneur pour sa protection sur le pasteur mondial, le révérend mobile en fait de chauffeur. Et nous prions que Dieu continue à le protéger, qui bénit tous les diocèses de l'Église qui sont dans le monde entier et notamment le diocèse de France, l'Amérique, l'Angleterre, la France et partout dans le monde entier. The Ethodoxies of the Celeste Church of Christ in Dublin, Republic of Ireland, Superior Evangelist Michael Tunde Afolalu says, Ireland Diocese of the Church have restored Christian values to homes and win souls for the Kingdom of God. He said the Dalsons believe in one food, one shepherd. All the shepherds are in spirit and one accord. Our island reporter in Dublin reports. We thank God for his mercy over us. During this pandemic, there is no record of death among the members and the shepherds. We are not mocking those that have died. We just use this opportunity to praise God. We worship God in holiness in Ireland Diocese as one of our missions. We restore Christian values to homes and to win souls for his kingdom through our Lord Jesus Christ. And in this diocese, we are under one umbrella. We believe in one church, one fold, one shepherd. We are all under Jesus Christ, under the leadership of our, of our pastor, Reverend Pastor, Emmanuel Mobi in our chauffeur. We do not encourage division here. And we thank God all the shepherds are in spirit. We are all in one accord working together for his kingdom. Nothing is disturbing us apart from this COVID 19 in our worship. We are worshiping online at the moment. But despite that, People still respond positively and there are still testimony regarding our worship. So our prayer is that God Almighty will grant us the freedom to be able to come to his temple to worship 
as we used to. The shepherd in charge of the Covenant of God Parish, Philadelphia, Superior Evangelist Kainde Akano, appreciates the miracle manifesting in the church 17 years counting. The shepherd told RUSA Bureau Chief in Philadelphia about the miracles and testimonies in the church. Prophet Debo Fora reports. We'll be celebrating our 17 years anniversary this year. And since the beginning establishment of this church, we have always been rejoicing to the Lord. Even though we give God the grace and the, the all praises belong to Him. In the year 2020, during the COVID-19, we don't have anybody that is sick in, in the hospital. We don't have no dead in our parish. And there is no one single day that the parish is not open either to the public or to the member. So in this parish we are rejoicing and the Lord is blessing us because it's God that has called us. And the calling of God is an irrevocable calling. When he calls you, he stood by you. And that is the God Almighty that we are serving. We also appreciate our Father, Honorable Superior Evangelist Allah Rani who is the head of this diocese, for good work he has been doing. Baba is a father to me, so <laughs> when Baba don't see me within two months, he will call me. Kenny, where are you? So he's a good father. And I also thank the region evangelists, even though they are far away from us, but God is not far away from us. The Lord has performed a lot of miracles, but all glory belongs to him. Because who am I? To say God has done this, has done this, even though the church members are here, we all witness miracle of God in this parish. Every Sunday, there is no Sunday that we will not witness a miracle of God. Even though toward the ending of December, there was a crazy man who has been like almost 15 years mentally sick. He came to this church, we were doing service. And with the power of Almighty God, when the Spirit of the Lord fell upon him, the man was speaking in tongue. A man that was in a ragged cloth. But uh, that is one out of many that God Almighty has healed in this church. Head of Diocese in the United Kingdom, UK, Assistant Most Superior Evangelist Amos Fatusi said United Kingdom, UK Diocese is growing spiritually and the church membership drive is increasing, emphasizing the approach to COVID-19. The head of the Diocese spoke to our correspondent. We thank God for what the Lord has been doing in this part of the world. We thank God for His glory, His blessing, and His power, giving us joy. Particularly this uh, uh, heavy situation, this pandemic, and this coronavirus. We are experiencing the, 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 the virus and as it goes. It delays so many things though, but God is supporting us in all our activities. We have a, a lot of things that we have put down to do in this dance in order to move the Celestial Church of Christ in this part of the, of the world. The end of the diocese of the Celestial Church of Christ in Italy, Assistant Variable Superior Evangelist Michael Tunde Odubanjo says the diocese is on the lockdown, but Jesus did not lock them down. The head of diocese in Italy assures the diocese that as long as Jesus lived, there will be no COVID-19 victim. Our Italian correspondent reports. It's true. We are under lockdown, but Jesus did not lock us down. We are living. We have overcome it. Until the moment that this pandemic will be over, none of us will be the partakers of it. Under this diocese, we thank God for the little thing that God is doing for us. We did not bury anyone. We did not send back home any bad news. We did not receive any bad news. Well, we embrace God for this. Using this to greet Celestial Church of Christ worldwide. As we are moving for the progress of this church, Satan will not have power upon us. Using this to embrace and greet our head of Celestial Church of Christ, that is Pastor Mobino or Shofa. May God continue to give you more strength and power. Even giving you long life. 
in order to direct us upright. Canada head of diocese, Assistant Venerable Superior Evangelist Samuel Ogunboye, gave an account of the development in Canada. He said all the shepherds are all trained and fortified spiritually to contain the coronavirus pandemic spreading like wildfire. He said they are coping and following the rules under this lockdown. He said most of the church services are online until the coast is clear for normal physical service. Our Canada correspondent reports from Toronto. In this pandemic, we thank God that our diocese is progressing and uh, we thank God that we have no record of death in this diocese. We have no record of COVID-19 among any of our members in the diocese. And also, we continue you know, to adhere strictly to the pandemic and safety rules and preventions. We have achieved numerous things during this pandemic that is worthy for us to be thanking God for. New parishes, we are open in our diocese and all our parishes are active. They are still active up to today, active in worship, although with few members according to government regulation. All our parishes in the diocese are active in their online worship. They are active in evangelism, that is winning souls for the church. Even the youth in our diocese, they are not left out. They too continue to organize their youth program. Head of Region A of the United States Diocese, Assistant Venerable Superior Evangelist Solomon Oyelade, commended all the shepherds and state district evangelists in the region. He said this during an interview with our correspondent, Prophet Debo Fora reports. I thank all the shepherds for their support and also for keeping the rules and regulation of Celestia and the state. Let's continue to move forward and the Lord will bless you. Most of the time, this 2021 will be a glorious year for us. Superior Evangelist Sumbo Ojo the first and former shepherd in charge of Staten Island, who later started Alleluia Parish, says the Staten Island Parish started 30 years ago and the parish is still waxing stronger. He praised the founding members and the present leaders of the church. He says Staten Island will witness more parish springing up in Staten Island as a mark of growth and development of the church. Our correspondent reports. August 11, 2021 will be 30 years and uh, with the help of uh, the pioneers uh, member or uh, Nicholas Oemi or uh, uh, Mrs. Odumbo and uh, late Mrs. Uh, Oloruntola. May her soul rest in peace. And uh, after then, and uh, Mother Celestia Kaula Nujo, who is my wife. Um, later on, uh, Evangelist Balogun, who later the first uh, secretary and then the last who hear me the first chairman and uh, from there we have uh, people join the church uh, like uh, baba ulu musoya uh, baba makoli and uh, evangelist uh, lulu from then the church started growing we for the help of God, we buy the, the uh, we move to uh, Canada, Canada, uh, 98 Canada Street. The shepherds of the church, uh, Superior Bimbo Makinde, uh, Baba Pope, Son, uh, Baba. Balogun, Emmanuel Balogun was uh, one of the shepherds, 
and the uh, Baba Sunday okay, and uh, that he to superior Oyetibo. May God Almighty going to be about them. That ends the news for the week. My name is Charis James. See you next week.